everybody, this is Mewtwo for Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green. That's it. So, we're ready to get out of here and press on. Now, the way you get out would be, uh, same way you got in me, I choose to take the scenic route. Yeah. So now that we're out of the most confusing gym in the history of Pokemon, we actually have a couple of options. Uh, we could go back to uh, uh, Fuchsia City and surf Routes 19 and 20 all the way to the Seafoam Islands. Um, but I'm actually not going to do that because we're just so close to the end, why not go for it? You know, we only have two, uh, two gyms left to explore and because of that, they're going to come fast and furious. <coughs> so we're coming back to south of the border in the Cinnabar mood. Palatown food with altitude. Palatown food with altitude. I see you in the Cinnabar. And if I ever do that again, please feel free to hit me upside the head with a stick. Now there's actually a couple of things we could have done here in Cinnabar uh, while we were here the first time. The thing of it is, we really wanted to get a sphere and get him caught up, so we didn't. You're looking for Ponyta. Now, <laughs> not only do I not have a Ponyta, I just don't want a seal. A very, very much so in indeed important doctor. Yes, I got the Helix Fossil. Ammonite, okay. Luca handed over the Helix Fossil to the weird doctor. <laughs> well, I think I will. There's actually something else that we can do here. So let's go ahead and leave this place. Come back to the Pokemon. I get about 10 full heals. And, you know, you really, really want repel. Okay, you really, really want repel. Okay, and and the reason behind this one is because where we're going, the random encounter rate is just so outrageous that if I tried commentating, the door's locked, okay? If I tried commentating in here, I wouldn't be able to finish a sentence before I ran into another random encounter. You know, you can run into some rather decent Pokemon here, such as Raticate. Sorry, that was a rat attack. Uh, you can run into Raticate. You can run into Ratata. Uh, for those of you playing Leaf Green, while well, I'm thinking about it, um, where is it? Uh, for those of you playing Leaf Green, you can actually run into Magmar here. My, my, not a bad Pokemon to invest in, but you know. You, you can't get it in. Yeah, you can get it. Oh, you just can't get it in Fire Red. Surprise, surprise. A big puzzle. Dude, the stairs out are to the north. And you have a Charmander. A level 34 Charmander. What the fuck have you been doing with this thing? What brain were you born with? I would have already had him involved at level 16! Dude! Now, at level 34 Charmeleon, I can understand. He doesn't evolve into Charizard until level 36. But a level 34 Charmander? Sure had a lot of money for me. Which is always good. And we found a thing not ungood. Oh, hello, what the hell is this? Sure. 
Now, you don't actually have to fight this trainer if you don't want to. Me, I'm going to. Simply because, well, first off, Freya is so close to gaining a level. But second, I sure as hell could use the experience. You could always use experience. And you're sending out a Magnemite. Haha. Uh -huh. Let's hope he doesn't use Thunder Shock. Uh oh. This could hurt. Ow! Bitch! Sweet. And I'm about to use a Voltorb. So for Voltorb, let's bring in. Sukasa. Start you off with Psychic. Sweet. And I'm about to use a Magneton, so for Magneton we're gonna bring in Ragnarok. From here, we actually do have a place we can go. Down these stairs, go grab this Pokeball. HP up, not ungood. Now, it's about here that you need to make a decision. What pathway are we gonna fall down? Well, in order to beat this place, you actually have to fall down this one. Which is why I said you don't have to fight that trainer. Okay, so let's swap out our lead Pokemon. Uh, bring in Hatsune. By the way, in case you're wondering, Hatsune is the one that took on that rat attack from earlier. There shouldn't be anyone here, so why the hell are you just standing around? You're obviously waiting for somebody, and you're sending out an Electro! A level 29 Electro. I'm not complaining, you know, because I did have a level 3 Electro. The reason I'm complaining is because you have a level you have level 29 Pokemon in the Pokemon Mansion. What? How the hell did you get this far? And I'm about to use a Weezing, so for Weezing we are going to bring in a Sphere. Well, that's about worthless. Just remember, Shockwave can't miss! Ouch! No comment. And a Carbolt. Not, not ungood. No, no, want more repel. Me want more repel. <laughs> yeah, the random encounter rate in here is just that bad. Let's swap out our lead Pokemon and get Henry some action today. Alright, uh, you're in the Pokemon Mansion. Where the hell do you think you are? And you have a Growlithe. I would have already evolved it into Arcanine. Let's start you off with Gust. Nice, go Henry. And I'm about to use a Ponyta. Uh, so for Ponyta, let's bring in Freya. Ooh. What the 
hell are, are you are you a wolf now? Okay, so let's press this button. Now in case you are wondering, uh I know I haven't uh, necessarily explained repel. Repel actually wards off Pokemon that are a lower level than your lowest level Pokemon in your team. So because we're all level 43, it'll ward off any Pokemon that's lower than level 43, which happens to be everything here. A Magnemite! Oh shit, I forgot to swap out my lead Pokemon. Oh well, we should still be able to beat him. Especially if we're up in the air when he uses Thun- Ah, uh, no way. Somehow, I don't know if I like that attack. No, I don't like that attack. Okay, so let's swap him out for Ragnarok. Oh, you learn something new every day? I, I actually didn't know Lock-On existed, to be honest. I, I really didn't. I'm about to use an electrode. Nah. Let's bring in my electrode. Anything you can do, I can do better. I can do anything better than you. Especially if I have a 9 level advantage on you. God. You challenged me, douchefag! Oh, it's up here. Another Mewtwo st statue. Sure. You know, one thing I just noticed is... Mewtwo's eyes turn red. Hey, Blizzard. Yeah, Mewtwo's eyes turn red whenever you, um... You open the, uh... Whenever you press the switch. And the secret key! I wonder if that's going to be useful anytime soon. And Solar Beam. Um, now, out of these attacks, I'm not necessarily a huge fan of Solar Beam. Um, the reason I'm not such a huge fan of it... Okay, look at its power. Look at its accuracy. It is a great attack. But you do spend your first turn um, gathering energy. Maybe, it, maybe an attack you'd learn in the future, but for now, not so much. Now, Blizzard, I'm actually a bigger fan of, sort of, not really. Um, <laughs> that's because of its accuracy. It, does, it doesn't it does pack any accuracy, and considering what you get with it, I'd rather take an accuracy of at least 90 before teaching it to any of my, uh, any of my other Pokemon. So now that we're done here, let's go ahead and use our escape rope. Get the fuck out of here. Where's my escape rope? There it is. Go back to the Pokemon Center. Okay, that's fine. Sure. Let's check out the secret key. Yeah, it opens up this gym. Okay, I thought he'd tell you, but these trainers you can actually skip if you want to. What you would do is you would come over here. Yeah. If you want to conserve your Pokemon for the gym leader, then get it right. Uh... Does Caterpie evolve into B Metapod? No! 
Yeah, I actually screwed that one up on purpose. I do believe, at least in red and blue, there actually is a way to beat these trainers, even if you get the, uh, the answer right. All you do is you get the answer right and then talk to the trainer. Let's go ahead and see if we can do that after this trainer. Uh, yeah. And I'm about to use a bull pick, so let's bring in uh, Freya. Tails. Let's leave Freya in, finish, start and finish this thing off with Surf. Die. Oh, you didn't kill it. Well, what was that on Surf? So let's swat, switch out our lead Pokemon for Freya. Freya's actually gonna stand a huge advantage in this gym if you haven't uh, if you haven't already found out. There are nine certified Pokemon League badges. Actually, no, there's eight. There's only eight. Okay, so now let's see if we can still fight these trainers. Hey, we can! Nice! Another Vulpix? Aww, what a buzzkill. I was hoping maybe you'd have a Magmar so I can explain it. And a Ninetales? How many of these things do I have to fight? I mean, Vulpix is cute and all, but damn! Voltorb's is Volpix is a nice little fox, but damn! No, seriously, Volpix is a fox! <laughs> Die. So it's about here, I'm gonna go ahead and call it an episode. Coming up next time, we continue on in the Cinnabar City Gym. I will see you all on the other side. Hasta lasagna!